or when he finds the kids uh, toys I could say let go so he can um, let them go <laughs> let them go <laughs> Let it go, let it go. <laughs> Hi friends, my name is Christina and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking a little bit about how we have been training our six months old Swedish Wallhund Urax. Uh, we will show you how we have been training him and I will show you five exercises that we currently are working on. Let's get into the video. We wanted to get off on a good start with Urax. Uh, we wanted him to focus on us on, in training and we wanted to have a good bond with him from the beginning. Uh, we also wanted to teach Urax a few exercises so we could uh, get to know each other a little better and uh, trust each other in training. We started with uh, signing up uh, for a puppy course. Uh, together we went with Urax and uh, there we learned a few exercises. I also have been reading a few books and of course on YouTube I could find a lot of good tips and uh, great uh, training uh, with puppies. So everything that uh, I will be showing you is based on uh, books and uh, research from YouTube and of course uh, the puppy course we went on. I will first show you the exercises that we have learned and then I will focus on how uh, they work for us and also how the training went. Now remember that I am not a dog trainer, I am just a happy puppy owner and uh, I just wanted to have a good start with our new puppy. When we are training we are using doggy treats but if you want you can also take his uh, regular dog food. We train Urax uh, about six days a week and uh, we train maybe two times a day, only a few minutes. Um, I learned that about uh, 10 or 15 doggy candies or doggy treats uh, is uh, just enough uh, for one training. We keep the training sessions uh, short. A few minutes per session is just enough uh, for Urax. We have been training Urax in different environments. First, we started the training inside with no distractions. And then when he got the hang of the exercises, we could uh, train while the kids were playing uh, and uh, with a little distraction around him. And we also have been training outside where there can be a little more distractions. When uh, Urax got the hang of the exercises, we could start applying the, them uh, both in training and in uh, situations where they were useful. Like when I was going outside the door, I could say stay and he would stay inside or I could uh, use uh, the word heat which means come when he's too far away from me and I want him to come to me or when he finds the kids uh, toys I could say let go so he can um, let them go <laughs> let them go <laughs> let it go let it go uh, I think it's so much fun training Urax because we really have got to know each other better and we have a lot of fun times together and a lot of cuddle. Urex, come on! <laughs> Urex! Okay, so let's start with the first exercise. And the first one is making eye contact with your dog. This exercise is, is uh, really helpful in all of the other exercises because you need to have a good eye contact in training. This first exercise was a little bit tricky in the beginning because he really had to work his mind to figure out uh, what I wanted him to do but he got the hang of it really quickly. Good. 
The second exercise is sit, and it's also sit in Swedish. When we were training sit, I brought the candy over his nose, so he had to look up a little bit, and when his uh, bottom touched the ground, I immediately rewarded him with a little treat. And we did, did this, uh, as I told you, maybe 10 or 15 times. See? exercise is uh, stay and uh, when we were training stay he I first told him to sit down and when he was sitting I just uh, showed him a sign that I wanted him to stay and when he stayed I immediately rewarded him with a treat this exercise I could extend when he was getting the hang of it I could show him stay and I could back away a little bit and he could stay longer and longer in training. Sit, stand up, rest. Bra, duktig rest, bra. Sit, stand up, rest. Duktig rest, bra. Kom igjen, rest. Sit. Now that he has gotten the hang of this exercise, I can make it a little bit harder for him. I will first ask him to stay and then I can place a little treat in front of him and he won't take the treat until I say Varsågod, which basically means um, go ahead. The fourth exercise we have been training on is also a very important one. Uh, it is uh, heat, which means uh, come here. This exercise we have been training on uh, outside mostly, and it's important because when Urax is a little bit too far away from me and I want him to come to me, I can use uh, this exercise. The word heat is also important because it, it can uh, help you to avoid a potentially dangerous uh, situation. If your dog starts uh, chasing something, it's important for you to be able to call for your dog. And also trust that your dog will always come back to you. Heat! The fifth exercise is let go and uh, this exercise is important when uh, your dog finds something that could be uh, bad for them to eat or 
maybe if he has the kids toys in his mouth and I want him to let them go If you want to see more videos about Urax, then uh, check out our other videos. Push the like button and uh, subscribe and I will see you again soon. Bye!